Good afternoon. We are on our weekend away to the Lake District. We're heading towards Buttermere area, Crummer. Apparently the bull bells are out this week, so at this time of year, so we're going to go and hopefully see them at the best. Some we've talked about for a long while, so we're finally going to go and do it now we've got the freedom with the van. So the plan is, so we've got about just under three hours to go now, so we should be there for about half past four, something like that. We're going to hopefully get in the car park, do our walk, get some photos, then get back and find somewhere to stay for the night. But up to now, it's just, we're just on the M62 now, just past Cool, so we've got a decent drive to go, but hopefully it'll pass pretty quick with some music and some chat. Eddie! traffic Lake District about 10 15 minutes ago, quarter to five, we got here. Just got set up, um, and we're going to go for a walk to the Ranadale Bluebells. There is some over the shoulder now, but I think they're more in the valley. As you can see, it's a lovely sunny day, and um, bright sunshine. No, not a breath of wind or anything like that. It's lovely, but yeah, apparently the Bluebells are coming over that way, and it's meant to be quite good. We don't know how good, but we'll soon find out. But yeah, it's not warm, but it's not cold, it's breezy. <laughs> Following on for our last video, just a quick update. We've been to see the blue bells at Ranadale, been up and around the valley, and then come back over the top of Ranadale Knox. What you can see behind me there is Crummock Water with all the water in the distance. And we're just going to go down this path now back to a car park, and then we are just carrying on up the road. You can actually see the van in the distance over there, um, over there in that car park. So it's probably about half an hour, 40 minutes max, I think, and then we should be back and we're going to go get parts up and have some tea and a coffee. Yes. Ranadale Bluebell Walk 
we came down Rennerdale, walked up the road back to the car park. We had a look for overnight stays. We could possibly stay here, but a lot of the car parks have got no overnight signs. This one doesn't, but I think it's been pulled away. So we're going to go to Moss Force, hopefully where we stayed before. Hopefully get a spot there. If not, if it's a bit busy, we can go over Honister Pass and find a lay-by or something like that. If not, we're just going to have to try something out. We found somewhere to pull up or whatever. So we'll just see. We'll, we'll update you very soon.